Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from Southhawk Computing, and today we have a bit of a software slash firmware comparison report. This is going to be for a Cisco E2000 router that we recently did a how to install DDWRT firmware or tomato firmware on it. After posting it, we actually had a YouTuber comment and ask a question. Robert Wagner asks, does tomato in the E2000 uh, perform better than DDWRT? I have a bottleneck in my download speed. I can barely break 60 megabytes a second. So over here, we set up a local gigabit ethernet network. I have another machine that's set up with a web server, specifically Apache web server. And we're gonna see what kind of speeds we get through that particular router with the current DDWRT firmware. Now, just to tell you right up front, I'm using the 21676 firmware. Anything higher, unfortunately, was giving me Wi-Fi issues and I wanted to make sure it was the most quote-unquote bug-free firmware that we could actually do this test with. So that being said, I'm going to open up this Google Chrome browser and we're going to download a 8 gig test image from that Apache web server and let's see what happens. Okay. So, right off the bat, we see that we're getting anywhere from 95 to 87 uh, megabits per second, or um, down here, pretty much, uh, or I should say up here, 11 megabytes per second, uh, which coincides with this number here, giving us uh, 15 to 16 minutes to download this 8.6 gig file. CPU load seems to be fine. And that seems the most I'm going to be able to get out of this guy. So, okay, let's get the tomato firmware installed and let's do a comparison. Okay, so we have the tomato firmware uh, loaded back up on the E2000 here. And as you can see, everything is up and running. So let's do the speed comparison. Wow. As you can see, we're definitely getting faster speeds on the Tomato firmware here. We're at 120 and 109 and we're averaging um, down here. It also reflects the same for the speed as well as over there. And yeah, the CPU load seems to be the same too. Nothing out of the ordinary. So I think we're good to go here. The Tomato firmware will definitely net you faster speeds, or I should say download speeds through the WAN port. Well, there you have it. As always, if you like what you see here, on the video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and even leave a comment it would be greatly appreciated this is dan from southhawk computing and as always until the next time